Welcome to the Chechen Kohling Temple, also known as the Dalai Lama Temple. Right here, uh, we're gonna check it out. It's about 10 after four in the afternoon. I see the gondola. Mm -hmm. So we read online they close at five, so I don't know how much we'll actually get to explore, but we're gonna give it a try and uh, see what it's all about. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Head on in, there's some sales. I'm ready. Yeah, Forrest is ready. There's some people trying to sell masks. They say it's like no entry, no mask, but they're just kind of street salespeople. So we'll just wait and see what it, if they ask us to wear a mask or not. But basically step through and it's a beautiful property already. It looks like it's multiple buildings as you walk in. Now, Kelly, you met the Dalai Lama once before. Yes. Tell, us, tell us about that. Um, I was living in El Salvador and he came to thank El Salvador, the country did something for him or Tibetans back um, when they had to leave, uh, when they were, they exited China. And okay. so, um, yeah, he was there to thank them. He had a big rally. It was really, it was really cool. It was really peaceful. Was what awesome. year was that? That would have been 2004 or five. Cool. And so. did you actually like meet the, like, did you like, um, you know, have some little FaceTime with them? Are you within the vicinity? I was, yeah, a group of us went up to chat with them. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you actually like have words? Yeah. Cool. So it's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it is Special. really cool. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so will we meet the Dalai Lama today? I don't know. We'll find out. He is uh, in town next week, for sure, to do a, you are saying, like a public talk of some sort? Yeah, uh, yeah, some kind of, I don't know, a lecture or seminar or something. Okay, well, here is some sort of memorial, memorial of some sort. You see all on the back wall. Way to the temple, it says. Hello. Cool. What do you think, Granite? Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So I guess this is not technically the temple yet. So this is way to the temple. So pretty sure you can follow the crowd. It's well marked, very clean. I imagine all of these buildings, although not technically temple, are tied to the temple of some sort. Yeah. Look good? Yeah. All right, to the temple we go. So you can definitely hear chanting. There's some, some kind of something going on, chanting and noise and people. Lots of books, Dalai Lama related bookstores. Uh, maybe we'll check that out on, the, on our way out, but it's, uh, yeah, very uh, spiritual feeling here, I think. Okay, it appears to be some door people that are not wearing masks, so we'll see what happens. And we have officially been turned away from the temple because no masks. So they were not joking about the no mask. Uh, the street peddlers were in fact being honest. I asked if they had paper masks, just uh, you know, a lot of these places will just have a box and just start handing them out. But apparently no. So we'll uh, go find masks. We have 45 minutes. Uh, we'll go find masks and try to get back here in time. All right, three masks. 10 rupees each, 30 rupees. Temple upstairs. Let's just go straight to the temple since it closes in uh, half an hour, yeah? Okay, but there's a big grounds here for sure. But we'll start just right with the temple. A bunch of monks stirring something up here, maybe getting some kind of dinner preparations going. And the chanting, I don't know if that happens all the time or if it's just during certain times of the day. Certainly some sort of donations, I suppose. Wow. Kind of stuck on the stairs, I think. They should have come, come uh, down a little bit. Okay, well, we're, once this clears out, we'll move on, but it's certainly some kind of donation of some sort. So again, just don't know if that is for consumption, but it must be donation. Apples, cookies, candies, all types of bread, handouts, bananas. I see juice boxes. Oh my gosh, here it all comes. Wow, it is definitely quite the scene in here. 
So the chanting certainly is tied to all this prayer. Everywhere. There are people everywhere. Again, it's just a busy, busy place. Would you say granite? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You see other photographers here. You see people just sort of checking out all the things to check out. Certainly people praying. Here comes this, all the food's coming from here, all the bread stuff. So the main, the main hall. Oh, okay, I can see the guy. I can see the guy leading the uh, prayer right here. He's got the mic. He's, he's mic'd up. And they're all facing this direction. Let's see what we can find. Oh, okay, so now I see what's going on. So all the food's coming in here. They're scooping up those buckets of bread. Walking right around, and out the door they come, right into the big vats, which appears to be passed out for donation. Wow, it's definitely a scene. You can see the big, the big statue right back here. So I don't know if they're orienting their prayers to the statue or to this little um, temple in the middle here. Uh, see what you want to see? Come here. Go. Right. Okay, so we'll kind of leave this food area, see if there's anything. Oh, we're going, we're going counterclockwise. So we are supposed to go, if I'm not mistaken, this, these are the karma wheels. So let's see if there's a start point on those. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it says prayer wheels, thousand. Here's the chance. Okay, guys, let's, I guess we'll start here. This is the first one. This is the last one. All right, after you guys. So we'll see if this wraps all the way around. Okay, so we'll go uh, we'll go all the way around to the right, check out the full property. But you can see, maybe it's kind of coming to an end. I see a lot of people leaving now in the staircase. I'm glad uh, <laughs> I'm glad we got here when we did, because now the staircase is pretty much uh, unpassable. All these people, and again, I don't know if they're all waiting for if they're all waiting for handouts or if these are people all just trying to leave. Definitely looks like handouts. Made it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like whatever chanting and prayer was going on is now coming to an end. Everybody's getting up. The hall's clearing out with all the all the monks. Yeah, well that was great. I'm glad so again, had we been here any later, we would have missed all, all of whatever kind of this was Dad. yes yeah mom's good she's taking pictures so multiple exit points all right i got a thumbs up from kelly back there <laughs> got it i think what we can do is probably cut up like him Okay, so yes, I don't know if people are also getting handouts here. It definitely looks like it Kind of scooping up all that bread cookies milk juice All of that donation of people uh, giving which is nice again. That's probably it's all free I don't know if these are all people in need necessarily, but it is it is part of the tradition. I imagine that to uh, Take a donation of, uh, of this food so foggy. Yeah, isn't that cool the fog? Okay, well, let's let's go this way to, to the right. 
we're all the way up in the clouds. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, I imagine this would be a beautiful view. There is a uh, gondola, like a sky gondola that goes uh, past. There wouldn't be much of a view right now, though. No. What do, you, what do you think of that? That was pretty sweet. That was, wow. yeah. I'm just so happy we got here when we did. It's about 4.30, so the temple's officially open for 30 more minutes. But had we gotten here now, we would have had no we idea. It. Yeah, we yeah. missed it. That was something interesting, would you say, Cedar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah very cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll continue, or go ahead. As it clears out, we'll be able to go back through and explore a little more yeah, with yeah. less crowds, but um, yeah, the prayer's just ended and it's everyone's piling out of here. Yeah, yeah, go on. So I imagine this will be totally empty here in a few more minutes. Yeah. Okay, well, should we continue the lap around the back of the property? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys, follow me. We'll just kind of head down this way. No eyes on the Dalai Lama yet, but you never know. Okay, so we're going to take a peek inside this open door. Uh, there's a shoe sign that says make sure your shoes are not stolen by somebody. Which wouldn't that be horrible, getting your shoes stolen at a Tibetan temple? So Kelly, you're going to stay here and guard the shoes I got and we'll em. rotate. All right. So in we go. And it says, it says to stay silent. history of a temple. There's money, like money donations. Okay, this door's closed. I have no idea who that guy is. Something to do, something to do with Buddhism, that's all I can tell you. certainly be used for some sort of prayer as well okay cool yeah that's pretty cool Kelly no, definitely really? yeah yeah you should definitely go check it out okay so we're we're kind of technically cheating we're supposed to go clockwise but by walking around the way we did we missed this opportunity go ahead Zier start us out the old karma wheels so you can see there's still it's all thinned out now but the, the donation bins are still certainly being utilized by people. Yeah, these are quite nice. Of course, getting in on the deal. Yeah, Force really likes these. Yeah, why not? Okay. Here we go. Okay, well that was a full kind of walk around. Guys, let's see about where those candles are, huh? I mean, it's totally cleared out. So we'll see, uh, there's um, somewhat of a, like a stupa right here, this stupa that's out there. Oh, there's actually a bunch of stupas now that I'm looking. And then we'll see what this room's all about here. See if we can get in. Oh, I can't get in this way. Oh, there it is. This way, Cedar. Okay, check out the candle room. If they ask, I assume we can go really anywhere until they ask us not, not to be in here. Hello. Can we come in and see or no? Can we come in? It's okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. All the oil. Oh, it must be her job to prep all the candles. Looks good. Okay. Well, 
I imagine these are the candles that they utilize uh, during all the ritual, the prayer, yeah. all these kind of things. Okay, so I'll try to Okay. Well, we're back to sort of the main area. Lots of, uh, lots of books. It's not, oh, it's... What does that say? I have no idea. Something spiritual would be my guess. So we'll check out those donation bins, see what they look like now. Very, very full a little while ago. Oh, they're still... I won't. We won't leave mom. Oh. Right, to, right to the bottom of the bins. And there's the bread they're adding. So I don't know. We'll see how long they keep stocking them. Okay, so again, without really like a understanding of the property, we'll just keep walking in directions that we haven't been to see uh, until somebody says, oh, you're not allowed back like here. Yeah, yeah. So you'll see these a lot of stupas and whatnot. Oh, wow. Some kind of central kitchen. Here's uh, these two stupas. Shall I pick my head in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Like I said, until they, uh, if, if they don't want us, they'll, they'll ask us not to be there and that's fine. I'll just take a look inside here, see. Oh, okay, well, certainly some kind of kitchen. Nobody, no one's here. So here's like the things that they were just sculpting. Pretty cool. So I don't know if that's like something that they eat or if that's more for decorative purposes, but I mean, you can see the full kitchen burners, paint brushes to, you know, paint whatever this, this is, certainly flour or dough of some sort. Got the radio. Yeah, nice space, nice kitchen. This must have had the dyes added to them. So here's little versions actually of what they are making these things here. So I don't, where they're taking them, I have no idea. Something maybe more internal. Oh, it's cool in there. There's no one in there. It was just like uh, and I think we're kind of a kitchen of some sort. Of end, so. Yeah, okay, well. Can head back up? Sure, head back up. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I would say, I don't even know how, the, how you would even know what time to catch that, but we got here at like, like 4 30 i think yeah so if you came even at four it's probably at four is when it starts but oh. i have no idea but to see that that's the main show right and then but 4 30 it was or yeah about 4 30 it's 4 50 right now so they, they and it was done done so if you come any later you'll you're miss, miss it. it so you want to come to see that and then certainly those uh the prayers and everybody yeah all that donation together, food we, you, chanting you, together and yeah. then the donation of food as people walk out yep um but that's cool yeah so uh, make sure you're here maybe 4 15 the latest i i would agree and then uh, there were certainly uh tourists not just monks there so i, I felt like totally welcome and yeah. they invited us into those other buildings and whatnot so a totally uh, a place worth worth checking out cedar What'd you think of that? Good. Good? That's cool. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, why not? Did anybody catch, uh, catch the Dalai Lama? I, did, I was looking for him. I was looking. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see, see him. him. But that's okay. Daddy, yes. I see the monkey. Oh. oh, you see a monkey over there, do you? Yeah, they're around. Everyone's getting a little snack today. All right. Well, uh, that being said, I, there, we'll walk around the property a little more. There may or may not be much more to show, but uh, certainly if there is, we'll show up. But if not, we'll catch you in the next episode. Right, so just as you're exiting, following the exit signs, you come across this. And we learned in Nepal, the proper way to spin is three times. And you can see all the wall artwork. There's one. It's got the little bell. There's two. So cool. Dalai Lama there. And three. Is that three? That was three. Yeah, yeah cool. Very cool. Awesome. We got a four. Oh, well, it's a one, one bonus. One bonus. Okay. Now on to the exit we go.